Hello my number sixes and welcome to your October reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot. Um, yeah so this is going to be a reading of course for October and this is for those of you born on the 6th, the 15th or the 24th of any month all right so your number will be six. So let's uh, get on with the reading so uh, on the pre-shuffle I did see the heart and the wedge from the tea leaf on the pre-shuffle and I'm just feeling for some of you that somebody could be um, trying to interfere or trying to stop something. Um, I feel more of an interference in some way could be happening for some of you where somebody is trying to put a stop to something. Um, or they're trying to make sure that they are included in some way of something that you're doing. Right, so your cards from the um, Lenormand is the book. We have the book, the dog and the clover. All right, for some of you, so we look at the book. The book is a, is a card of knowledge. It's a card of keeping things um, private. It can be a card of secrets, anything like that. So you could have a secretive friend or you could have a friend that is, um, because, of course, the dog is a friendship card. So, but first of all, before I say that, let me just explain myself. So who is this friend to be? to you all right it could be a, a really good friend um it could be a, a friend that you consider family it could be your, you consider your mother as your best friend your father as your best friend um whoever it is for you you know but usually it covers a community as well and um and family so whoever that is so we have uh someone uh, that you can confide in about things as well and also a friend that may tell you things that they don't feel that they can tell in anybody else so a friend that confines in you so either way okay here we have the clover so the clover is a card of uh, good luck um so this could be a lucky friend, a friend you consider very lucky. Uh, they always seem to have all the luck, anything like that. Um, but a lovely card here with the clover. OK, it's it's not a permanent state. It is sort of like a temporary state. So this card is uh, letting you know that whatever's happening, it, it is temporary. But uh, with a bit of luck. You know, things, uh, whatever the, your situation is, with a bit of luck, things will start to um, sort of turn out the way that you would like them to. OK, so that's just like a little overview. So let me just pull some cards from the tea leaf and see what we have. Just give me a moment. Okay, so we have uh, a couple of cards here. All right, first of all, you have Needle and Fred. A sincere wish will be granted. All right, so something that you're hoping for, uh, something that you're wishing for. Triumph over triumph over troubled troubles sorry triumph over troubles or obstacles all right so you're going to get through this whatever it is you're dealing with whatever it is your situ situation is so time to get out of a situation and at the bottom of the deck you do have the uh, bat card all right so take care enemies are working against you and I did feel that when I done the pre-shuffle I see that wedge so uh, I think somebody's trying to um interfere uh, the only thing that you can do about this if you know what it is is uh, distance yourself all right get yourself away from uh, whoever it is that's causing uh, some sort of uh, what do they say some sort of difficulty you know making things uh, more difficult for you or trying to 
All right, so you do have the birds at the bottom of the Lenormand deck, which would suggest a conversation that you have with someone, uh, somebody very close, somebody you can, as I say, they can find in you or you can find in them. All right, somebody who is also, for some of you, knows the answers to some of your questions that you may be asking yourself. All right, but don't worry, luck is on your side. All right, number sixes. So let's pull some tarot. All right, we do have the young man it come up um, reversed. All right, so the young man reverse is, uh, it could be uh, one or two things. It could be uh, not seeing something clearly, not looking at other people's or something from a different uh, angle or pers perspective. Um, maybe you need to be uh, enlightened about something or maybe uh, on a positive note that you have discovered something and you, you're sort of... Um, you're coming out of that period of uh, maybe some sort of stagnation, all right, because there's there's things that you've worked out, um, that you've worked out sort of in your head. There's also things that somebody's give you something to think about. That's uh, the words that's come into my mind. Someone's give you something to think about. Could have something to do with this uh, companion, you know, whether it's your partner, whether it's a, a good friend or a family member, whoever that person is for you, all right, maybe you're thinking about what they said, uh, something has come to light, something seems to make sense. Okay, so let's have a look, let's pull some more cards from the tarot, I've got, do we have my number sixes? Maybe you've refused to look into something as well previously, you know, sort of like in the past, you've refused to look at something in a certain way. But now um, maybe it's time for you to uh, to sort of, what can I say, it's time for you to sort of see something, um, something that you have uh, ignored in the past. Right, let's have a look. So we have my number six is right, let me cut the cards now. Okay, so your next card. Okay, you have a temperance card as well. All right, so uh, I'll just say it. You know, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or Sagittarius. Uh, for others of you, I do feel that a friend or somebody very close to you is uh, going through a healing process. Um, but let's have a look. Let's pull some more cards. So I'm going to cover these numbers with the cards so that you can see them. Okay, we do have the uh, Knight of Cups. We also have the Nine of Wands. We have the Hierophant, so three major arcana, arcanas here. The Hierophant, in this deck it's called Jupiter. All right, so, oh wow, some major arcanas coming out here. This is lovely, the uh, star card. All right, so this is Aquarius energy here. We have Taurus. We have strong Piscean energy as well. And also we have the... Uh, Seven of Wands in reverse, the Wheel, and the Queen of Coins. So I do see, um, let's start over here first. All right, so let's have a look. So with the uh, Nine of um, Wands, all right, we could be feeling uh, ready or where we haven't been sort of prepared before or maybe that you're unprepared here for something because you do have the um seven of uh 
Wands as well. Uh, this is in the reverse. So the Seven of Wands is something coming in. Something that you didn't see. Um, something that you didn't see. Something that you didn't see coming in here. Okay, thinking of... Maybe a feeling or thinking you was prepared. Um, a lot's been thrown at you, number six is, all right? So whatever this this is, you you have been um, at some point you've been waiting for it, but I I do feel that you have um, I do feel that you haven't seen something here that is uh, I, I feel that you've let your guard down. Let's pull it that way. I feel that you've let your guard down especially when it comes to um i would say looking into things you know like you may be looking things up on the internet uh this could be something that you have um i was going to say don't that haven't read something thoroughly or or something like that but you've missed something here I hope I'm making sense in some way number six is all right. But whatever it is, you have been, um, it's like anyone could throw a, anything at you and you've been prepared for it. Like, bring it on. That's what I, that's the energy. Okay, bring it on. But there's just something here where you are more Open. I don't know if you've um, let your guard down. I don't know if you've opened up about something, or that you're prepared to um, learn about something or listen to someone about what they've got to say. All right, it could be that sort of energy where you have um, kept someone, you have kept someone at bay, but now you're ready to listen to what they have to say. That's uh, that's what's popped into my mind as well. Okay, let's have a look over here. So here we have the Temperance card. We've got three major arcanas here. All right, so a change of luck. Okay, so we have, remember we have the Clover, a change of luck, especially here with uh, these two cards, especially in your, um, I don't know if it's your religion, if it's your spirituality, anything like that uh things you're starting to understand a lot uh things are turning as well so this is, this is a cycle this is something that you're going through you've had to um try different things as well with whatever whatever it is that you've been doing okay for others of you i feel that you've uh that you're You've done lots of reading. What, what, what I want to say is that you've been reading up on something, whether it's to do with you, your health, anything like that. You've been really doing a lot of uh, research. I feel a lot of research. All right. Now, if it's not you, it could be somebody very close to you. All right. Somebody that you care about. But things are changing with a, a better 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 look at me with a better understanding of something here okay so let's have a look so we have the knight of cups we have the star and we have the queen of pentacles all right really pouring i i say really pouring your heart into something to get something right here all right, you know, because we see uh, a couple of pouring cards here with the star and the temperance card. They're both pouring. So pouring a lot of, of course, the knight of cups. So pouring a lot of love and uh, really um, putting your heart and soul into something. All right, you've invested. I think as much as that you've invested into something, you're going to be receiving as well, especially with that luck card there. You're going to be receiving some sort of uh, rewards here for your efforts and your, um, what can I say, your patience, your, what you've really worked hard towards here in some way. Okay, so let's have a look. Just give me a moment.
for some of you, I do feel there's a, there is another way for you to um, invest in something as well. So something that you need to uh, obviously to maybe look into, something you haven't looked into yet, uh, something that's going to bring some sort of security and stability. Uh, there could also be, um, I think, some sort of maybe collaboration here with someone. But I do feel there's an interference in, in whatever it is that you're doing, number six. Uh, or, you know, this could be in your marriage, it could be in a love situation, it could be in your work, your hobbies, your career, anything, health, a health issue, anything. I do see some sort of interference or someone trying to, um, as they say, upset the apple cart, all right? So somebody really wants to, um, I'd say, put try to uh, disrupt you in some way as much as possible or distract you in some way. But of course, with these cards, all right, it's, it's time to get out of a situation, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So I do see those uh, obstacles that you've been faced with with all right so whatever it is your your hard work or whatever it is you're striving towards will pay off okay so that's what i have for you my number six is um i hope this uh, resonated for some of you in some way that you could uh, take something from it and um and I made some sense here you know it comes in bits and pieces so um I'll leave it there for now and I'll be back very soon with your November readings next. And uh, whatever it is you're dealing with, I wish you all the best of luck. Do take care and uh, see you soon. Bye.